Hi, beloved ones. How are you this morning? I just want to be serious right now with the election and everything going on. Um, I come to you now uh, with the 30 day prayer challenge. There's so many challenges out here, but none that actually get you somewhere. Uh, just silly things and stuff like that. And that's okay to have fun and, and dandy because I will be doing some other challenges soon in the future. But right now, I want to challenge you all to do a 30-day prayer challenge. Uh, you know, people are so dependent on people um, to make a change. Change starts within you and your mindset. You have to, you know, change your mindset in order to get the things that you really want. It's all in a decision. Everything you do is a decision in life. So now what I want to do is just let you guys know from the bottom of my heart and through God that we have to pray like never before. If you do not pray, our world is going to be in judgment. It's going to be dis, um, destruction and terrible things, as you can already see by the riots and stuff like that over a presidency. This has never happened before. So uh, this is just an eye opener to bring God back into the center of our lives. If not, as you can see, what's going on in the world? That's common. I mean, well, you know, hey, everybody don't have common sense. Sometimes I don't. So it is what it is. But what I really want to say is that pray. 30 day prayer challenge. I don't care if you don't believe in God. Let's all come as a unit because united we stand, divided we going to definitely fall. And I want us to stand together and do this 30 day prayer challenge and watch what happens. Pray that... Um, that Trump has a change of heart and pray that you have a change of heart to be open minded and open hearted to changing yourselves, because this is the only way the world is going to be a better place. No, God bless America. God bless the world because he did not just make America. He made the world is in his hands. Remember that. And if you do not pray, like I said before, destruction is going to come. Destruction is going to come. Warning comes before destruction. So let's do this 30 day challenge. Share this video. Share, share, share. Subscribe to my channel and thumbs up the video if you agree that we all need to come in prayer and unity. Don't let anybody run you out of your country and where you live at all. I'm just saying, for example, if your man cheated on you, how many women go back? You're not going to let that side chick run you away from your man. Do not let Trump run you away from where you live. Point blank, period. Stand up. Don't run away from the problem. Stand them, face them, and be courageous. Because that's what we're going to have to do in this 30-day challenge. Prayer. Pray that things turn around. Pray that things to work out for the good. Pray that God can change Trump like he did all those other evil people in the Bible. He made them for his goodness. All things work out for the good. Know that and remember that. Pray that your mindset will be open and your heart will be open for your change in yourself to become a better person than you were yesterday. Pray that you just see things on a whole nother level. Pray that we get some good around here, some change around here for real. And it's all going to start with you, not the president. It's going to start with you. Now, I know you hear these are the things that it takes to become a successful person or it takes to make change or uh, see the good. It's true. It's that simple. Like people make it so complex and all this other stuff that is so hard. It's not hard. It's a decision. It's a decision. Make that decision today to do this 30 day prayer with me. Share this video. Get it out so we can conquer 
and fight like we know we can. Just like you came together when France got blown up. Just like we came together when the marathon was blown up. Just like we came together when 911 happened. Us as a world can come together in prayer and make this world better. Not just America, this world. Because this world seems to be coming to America. But now America's trying to come to the rest of the world. Let's just stop all that. 30-day prayer challenge starts today.